All right, so we're going to create a table of contents. Right now we're working with styled headings. All four of these right here, let me highlight them so you can see, these are all styled heading number one. This one right here is styled heading two. This is styled heading three. This one right here is styled heading four. And this is also heading one. Okay, so from here we want to create the table of contents. So to do that, just create a little space wherever you want your table of contents to be. Go into Insert, Index and Tables, and select Table of Contents. And then from here I'm just going to select, um, I guess I'll just do Traditional. Turn on Tab Leader so you get the dots. And also if you're going to, it'll probably default to three levels. If you've got more than that, make sure you've just got enough so that all your levels will show. Then click OK. And here we have our table of contents. So if we, but uh, what we want to do right now is we want to format this so the look of this matches the rest of our brief. So to do that, we're going to need to edit each one of these individually. And by the way, we don't just want to select it and change the font. That, um, that'll work for a little bit, but the first time we need to update the table of contents, like so, we're going to lose that. So we need to edit this in a way where it's going to be permanent. So to do that, we've got two options. We can go into Document Elements and click Options, or we can also just go back to Index and Tables and select Modify. I'm going to move this out of the way so you can see. So click Modify. And right here, this lets us edit um, TOC 1, 2, 3 individually. So TOC 1 corresponds to these four. TOC 2 corresponds to this one. TOC 3, TOC 4. So we'll start with TOC 1. I'm going to click Modify. Let's move this over. And for the first one, really all what we need to do is let's change the font. Font size is fine. I'll just leave that bold. Hit OK. Hit OK. And you can see this is, um, this is now in the right font. Now, if anything weird happens like this, that's not a problem. Usually when it refreshes, it will correct itself. Let's do that again. This time we'll just go to Options right here. Modify. Now we want to do the next level. So TOC2. Modify, and let's get the font right, Century School Book. And you know, let's also put a little more space here. These are all tightly packed, so I'm going to put, oops, but let's start with 18 points uh, below. And now we've got a little more space there. Hit OK, let's see TOC3, Modify, select the right font. Oh, let me also do font size 12, and let's adjust the paragraph here. Now this one, we want an indentation. So let's start with a half inch indent. So we got that. And then let's see the last one. TFC4, modify. Let's get the font right. Font size. And I'll just click OK so we can see what we've done so far. Okay, so the font is right, although I'm going to have to bump this up to font size 12. And this indent is right, nice, but it would be nice if the text here started lined up with the A, and this one right here would be nice if that one lined up with the text here. So let's do those three things. So to do that, go to Options, Modify, TOC2, and what we want to do is we want a little more indentation here. So to do that, we go to Modify, Paragraphs, and right here where it says special, select hanging and a half inch. That looks good. Hit OK. And now you can see that lines up well. And oops, I forgot to change the font. So let me do that. Modify, font size 12. Great. And let's take off bold. All right, so the next one, TOC3. The indent's good, but we need a little more indentation um, before the text here. So to do that, click Modify, Paragraph, Special, also hanging, 0.5 is great. And let's put a little space after this one as well. All right, now let's do the last one here. Number one, all right, format, paragraph. Whoops, let me make sure I'm doing the right level. Okay, so TOC, this is one, this is two, this is three, we want four. TOC four, modify. Now here, so this is no indentation. This is a half inch indentation. This one we want it to be a full inch. So let's make this full inch indentation, hanging half inch, and let's also put a little space there. All right, hit OK, OK. Oh, and it looks like, let's see, 
we need a little more space there. So modify, and let's see, TOC3, modify, paragraph, oh, a little space. And we want to get the space above uniform, but for now, that looks pretty good. Okay, so this looks good. Now, in theory, this should indent exactly right here. This should indent and line up exactly right here. It doesn't quite do that, even though we set everything up right. And as best I can tell, maybe this is a bug, but there is a little bit of a workaround. Um, to do that, right-click, toggle field code. Basically, this is known as a JSON tab. It's a tab that, like, like the... Uh, guy in the movie Jason, it comes out of nowhere um, and it's really hard to get rid of. So you can see right here there is a tab that just came out of nowhere. Same thing, a tab that came out of nowhere here and a tab that came out of nowhere. Well, it looks like the workaround is go to toggle field codes. So right click toggle field codes. This appears. You're going to do a slash W. Make sure I did that right. And then from here, right click toggle field codes. And let's update this. And okay, now it looks better, um, except that looks like we've got a lot of tabs here. So let's see if we can fix that. So this would be level one, level two, this is level three. So let's see if we can fix level three. Level three, modify, format, paragraph. All right, hanging, half inch, uh, that should be fine. Okay, Phew. so that's, oh, Jason tab came back. Let's see if we can fix that again. All right, so that looks good. And we can see too, um, it'll update as well. So if we were to, for example, copy all this, paste it here, and then, so we've basically created more headings, update the field, and we'll see it's automatically updated. Now let's do one more thing to this. Let's suppose here, let's suppose that this was a lot longer. Now let's update. Get entire table. And this is all right, but these let these the text right here is starting to encroach on the page number. We'd like there to be a little more space. So to do that, go to options, modify, TOC2, it's the level we're working on. Modify paragraph. Now we adjusted the left indentation. Now here we want to adjust the right indentation. So let's put a half inch there, and that's just going to give a little more space, a little more breathing room for the um, for the page numbers. I'm going to click OK, 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 and here we go. So now we've got nice space, whoops, some nice spacing there, and that's just going to make it seem a lot cleaner too. Now unfortunately, looks like we've got that bug again, so we can fix that. and then go back, and then update. But it looks like once you've set up the formatting, that shouldn't be a problem. But anyway, we can take a look. And you can see here, we've got a fairly nice table of authorities. Oops, at least. Um, and it will update as well. So any changes you make here, if you were to make this much shorter, simply right click, update and it will update. So that's how you make a table of contents.